Welcome to Hinton Ampner Estate, a National Trust property in Hampshire. Uncle David's brought us to see a um, country house called Hinton Ampner, which is only about 15 minutes from Winchester. Um, and it's an absolutely gorgeous sunny day today. It's about 27 degrees. It's mm, hot. Really hot. Yeah. The shade is always welcome. <laughs> the garden's really beautiful. But the house is under renovation, so it's got scaffolding all over it, so it's not very nice to look at from the outside. And inside, the upstairs and part of the downstairs are closed. Yeah, there's not much. Anyway, it's a nice day out, day out in the sunshine. Currently looking for Uncle David. He's sitting somewhere, he said we would find him around the front somewhere, sitting in the shade. Yeah. But haven't found him yet. We went to the little temple that needs a renovation, but he wasn't there. <laughs> so we're walking through this lawn. Wonder what they are over there. Nice screening over there. Mm. Got the beach hedge. Come through these pillars. But this is quite nice because then it leads out mm. to all these different shrubs. And then you've got a nice open countryside meadow on our left. Mm, mixes as you go round. But yeah, you come here and you've got a nice walkway down to the meadows. Over there. With the, this is the, the view from for the temple. <laughs> we went down and around all the way. Yeah, and up yeah and all the way around. By the meadow. There's room for three. The day piece for you. I've seen a fish do that before. The house was burned down in 1960 and completely restored in its original Georgian style by the then owner, Ralph Dutton, 8th and last Lord Sherborne. It became a National Trust property after his death in 1985.
We're leaving Winchester now and heading to the east coast of England, Essex. After spending some time with Phil's nan and the rest of his family, the next day we decided to take advantage of the heat wave we were having to enjoy the English seaside at one of the famous seaside resorts, Walton on the Naze. you're out in the sea it's quite windy when you're up in the car park it's windy but right up at the beach where we're chilling it's quite nice so like all the way back up by the wall it's nice yeah. and then we've got the pier all the way over there so we'll, uh, we'll go there later the sea is much warmer than swimming in Scotland yeah right on the south coast of England come to the big one ready well, what we found is funny here is the sand is incredibly oh, ah, is incredibly like squishy, it's almost like quicksand in places. And your feet disappear, but literally they disappear like two inches down, and then you hit hard sand. It's weird, but it feels like you're about to lose your foot forever. But the beach is very busy, but it was even busier than this when we arrived but it's been good but a lot of people leave at this point so it's a bit quieter it's more to enjoy the beach it's so Hello. pleasant for swimming in but you're so far out and it's like <laughs> not that deep <laughs> have to go really far out far it's double far out yeah, yeah double as far double as far twice as far not double as far twice as far but all the way out there, in the horizon over there, they've got a wind farm, which is really nice, I like, because you don't really see it unless you really look, so it's not spoiling the, the view, which is nice. I'm just going to head back in with my Sharon. Seaside resorts like these are famous for their rows of brightly coloured beach huts, some of which can be rented out for the day. Others are privately owned and have become so popular recently that the average price to buy one is over £50,000. Here. There are people walking out up the pier. That's good. Mm. From afar, I couldn't see that there was anybody there. Yeah. So we're going to go see what amusements or entertainment or things, activities. Yeah. See what Phil can spend do. coins on. Yeah. Take yeah. my money. I got no pocket money. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's my name. Lucky dog. Because it was 
in the middle of the winter, wasn't it? Came with your grandparents like 10 years ago. It's completely different than it used to be though. Yeah, a lot, a lot more going on. That's it for our England road trip. Hope you enjoyed joining us for a wee staycation. Next time, we're heading farther afield, off to visit two new countries. Join us in our next series to find out where we're off to next. See you then.